All right, so I'm back uh, with the log. Uh, this is kind of the where I'll start off on this video. Um, I'm going to show you how I get the log set up uh, and ready to mill on. Um, I've got it put in the the rack right now. Uh, it's got a couple different set of dogs. The ones that I use to bump it up against are um, they're just regular regular dogs so you, you don't have to worry about ruin, ruining your clamp dogs i'm actually not sure what these are called but i'll put those down i'm going to set you up over here and then i'll show you how i clamp it now one thing i've noticed in particular about this uh, easy boardwalk is that uh, even though it says it goes up to 24 uh, once you get into the bigger logs this right here is probably a medium sized log for what i've done um, these clamps, they tend to not clamp all the way down so your wheels don't come by. Um, and what you have, that, this is actually modified. What I did on this particular clamp is I just kicked it in really hard uh, and it bent it in so I can get the wheels by. But you can see that's kind of about as wide as you can go even though you can technically bring a log out that big, which is, it's about 24 inches. You're not going to be able to clamp it and get your wheels by, but you'll have to pull the clamp up, bring your mill past, and then reclamp it. So you always want to have, when you're doing the bigger logs, you're going to have to run three clamps. Usually I get by with just running two. So um, first I start off um, getting it clamped in. Now I like to do a, a pre preliminary assessment of like what my what my log looks like as far as the what kind of wood. Uh, I'm going to get out of it and, and the best layout looking down the log and seeing where the branches and stuff are. Um, today I'm just doing a really quick 4x4s, four uh, 12 foot long 4x4s. Four it's for the, the, the tiny house build I'm working on. Um, so uh, that's where this is at. I just have it, you know, it's not really lined up or anything. Uh, so what I do is I have these templates and, and a buddy of mine, he actually, he shares this mill with me. This is my mill, but uh, he uses it and that's his bobcat. So it kind of works out good for both of us. He lets me borrow, borrow the bobcat and uh, he, he uses the mill. So uh, he's a machinist and he cut me a bunch of really good templates. Uh, in this case, I'm doing four by fours. So, you know, I can figure out how many four by fours I get out of here uh, just by using this. Now, when I do the eight by eight, I'll grab a template. So because I'm doing four by fours, uh, I can actually save myself a step instead of paying this one four times. Um, I can just do the math and I can get four four by fours out of an eight by eight. You can see I use this one a lot for the actual house build, uh, the big house build. I'm doing all eight by eight um, post and beam. So all the, the posts are eight by eight. Uh, and I, I'm doing uh, six by eights also. So I've been using this one. And then the, the real big, po the beams are gonna be eight by 12. So what I do is just kind of look at it. Now, because of the way this log is, it's kind of oblong. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna spin the log because I can get more wood out this direction. And, that really, it comes with practice, kind of being able to see where your wood is and how, how you can get the better cuts. So what you're gonna need if you get into this is a log roller. And I have one uh, with me here. If you try to spin this on your own, it's kind of, it's a lot of work. It's way easier just to use a log roller. So kind of spin it, see where we're at. I want to have my top kind of parallel with the track system. So that'll do right there. Let me go ahead and clamp her in. Now the, the current setup with the mill here is actually like the 2.0 version. Um, we went ahead and we put it on a, 
log runners here so that it runs a little higher than what you get from when you first buy it. Uh, it's a lot easier uh, clamping your log and stuff when it's off the ground like this. So it's a lot easier to level up your track system too if you have it on a sturdy base. Uh, some people, I've seen it, they've put it on a concrete slab, which would be even better, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing in the future. But for now, it's just on these runners. All right. Then I go ahead, and it's funny when you paint these trees, white paint won't show up on uh, the ends. You have to use a dark paint. So take my spray can. Look at my cut. And this just helps me line up the blade. Give me an idea how deep I need to go on my first cut. So I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the mill fired up here and then we'll make our first cut.